Good evening. It's KEXP 90.3. This is Audio Oasis, the local music program. My name is Sean Nelson, and I am thrilled, I don't think would be exaggerating, to be joined here in the studio by Pure Bathing Culture. Oh 
This is, of course, Pure Bathing Culture Live on KEXP. A brief tuning break. And then another song. It's Audio Oasis, live and, I mean, effectively local, technically, I guess, regional music (laughs) from Pure Bathing Culture here, live in the studio. Pure Bathing Culture, Sarah, Daniel, Zach, and Brian, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having us. Um, I know you guys are uh, have a bit of a frantic day. We have to get down to the Capitol Hill Block Party and play a set at 9.45 tonight. Yeah. We can well, do it. I think you can do it. I yeah. believe in you. Um, We're going to make it. <laughs> yeah. You guys, you guys have that, um, that kind of going to make it spirit. I think. Thank you. It's a Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> um, uh, well, I don't want to uh, get too specific about sort of the show you're playing tonight. I won't ask you for predictions. But um, uh, you guys have played really on m- almost, I guess, every sort of size or scale scale of stage, really. You've played club shows, you've played theaters uh, with, and you know, w- on your own and with other bands, opening and, you know, headlining and all that stuff. Do you have um, a preference among those kinds of shows, or are they all just shows and you just do whatever you do? They're all just shows. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> okay. I feel like, I, I mean, I like playing the smaller places. I mean, it's more intimate. Um, you can see people's faces and sort of connect with them a little more but it's also so fun to play big stages and feel that energy too of those spaces and so many people so I don't know I like it all personally yeah, yeah me too I, f- I feel like we're learning a lot playing big stages right now um, which is cool and then I feel like when we play small rooms it's just really fun and we get to do what we're good at and this year you've been on maybe some bigger stages than normal what, uh, can, you, can you talk a little bit about what this year has been like for you um, 
this year has been amazing. The so we just we were just touring with uh, Death Cab for Cutie and churches. So those were like probably yeah, those are easily the biggest rooms we've ever played. Um, and that was crazy. That was like just loading into an amphitheater with no crew, right. just the four of us, and communicating with the front of house via like the radio of the monitor guy and like yeah. figuring all that stuff out. Um, so that was amazing. But usually, as you pointed out, we just play more like two, three hundred cap rooms. Right. So when you guys uh, are on the road with Death Cab for Cutie, which one is the Motley Crew and which one is the Guns N' Roses, would you say? Between us or bet- yeah, like, b- the, between the two bands? <laughs> wow, those are two bands I don't really know a ton about, but I would I would say that we... God. It's perfect. You've passed the test, don't worry. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> fine. To think if you would have been able to bands. dissect that question any more, yeah. uh, any more intricately, we would have had a problem. Yeah. Do like Ben Gibbard and Axl Rose have... like? anything in common with each other. I think they are both carbon based, <laughs> but that might be all. I think right. I can't be. And then I like can't Sarah, who is, who is the singer of Motley Crue? Uh, Vince Neil. Okay. Sarah. What about Tommy Lee? What about Tommy Lee? Easily night dog. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that's, a no brainer. that's a no brainer. <laughs> this is yeah, a question. Jason, Jason is not Tommy Lee. This is a question yeah. that's never been asked in the <laughs> KEXP live room. Like um, well, um, uh, Sarah and Daniel, you guys are, forgive me for, uh, for repeating what I have read in these documents, but you guys are a couple, we are. if yeah. I'm not very much mistaken. And you are in not just this band, but another band together. We have been, yeah. You, uh, right. Um, how hard is it? How do you questions. how do you do it's it? It's easy. It's easy. <laughs> no. There's never been a problem. No. I mean, we do it because we love doing it. You know, we love me we both love music. We have a connection um in the music that we make and we've known each other for a long time and have played in bands together for years. Right. Um and we've always felt a kinship with each other musically and also in love. So, I mean, I feel like we're just really lucky that we get to do it and um, we're really grateful for it. Yeah, I think at this point in time, we would have never started this band together if it just didn't work out naturally because we played in a couple bands before this. So I think this band is an indication that somehow it works. Mm-hmm. So. I, uh, I would agree, at least from the spectator's position. <laughs> um, this is KEXP, it's Audio Oasis, local music, and uh, we are joined live in the studio by Pure Bathing Culture who are playing tonight at the Capitol Hill Block Party, and uh, you guys are going to favor us with a couple more songs? Yep. Excellent.
Once again, we are live in the studio with Pure Bathing Culture, all the way from Portland, Oregon. And uh, there may be a minor technical glitch on the on the studio floor, but professional musicians will always rally. <laughs> Truly, the mark of the band is not how they do when everything goes well, but really how they recover when things go slightly yeah, askew. Or they ju- they Am just I wrong? do that every time. <laughs> or they That's just make the same mistake again and again, like some of us. Um, once again, I would like to remind you that these guys are playing at the Capitol Hill Block Party tonight on the Vera stage at 945. It's probably going to be a little crowded. There might be some traffic in between here and there, but I have only the highest hopes for pure bathing culture. Thank you for believing in us. Uh, forever. Forever and ever. On KEXP. Guys, that was fantastic. Thank you. Thanks so much for in, having us. In, you're very welcome. In the years I have uh, been listening to you and uh, been aware of you, because you know, we have several friends in common, um, I, you know, I have 
I've always wondered why I don't hear um, a certain set of uh, you know sort of reference points mentioned. I mean, the bands I hear mentioned alongside you guys are, I don't know, the sort of typical bands of now that people like and they're good and whatever. But I always like you really strike a chord uh, with me, and maybe this is. Uh, I hope the radio isn't uh, broadcasting this right now, but I just as this is a very like. My, probably my favorite 10 years of music are between 1985 and 1995. I can't help myself. That's just how old I am. But um, there's just like a, like you just made your first couple records for Rough Trade and then you met Steve Lillywhite and you moved to EMI and maybe there's some controversy. That's the, that's the kind of, there's a. That's about it. There's a you, kind of, <laughs> you kind of just nailed it. Yeah. That's that mid 80s British thing that I just will never. Or maybe you didn't nail it. Or maybe I didn't. Um, it's just where I. Uh, it's where I live, so thank you for playing music that uh, hits that same thank you. place. Yeah, it's, it's really fun. We have a great time. Well, yeah. I hope that uh, there are plenty of people. I'm sure there will be. I'm sure who's not going to go see you guys play at the Capitol Hill Block Party tonight right? at 945? <laughs> Myself uh, not included. I won't. <laughs> I can't be there. But, you know, it's, um, <laughs> other than me, um, I think there's going to be a whole lot of people there. And I think they're going to have a great time. And I hope you guys uh, have a good time getting over there. Thank you. Thank Thanks you so, so much, much for coming in. Thanks so Thanks much, Thanks for Sean. having us. Yeah. All right. This was Pure Bathing Culture. Again, well, do I have to say it? Capitol Hill Block Party to 9945. Um, and uh, and uh, you, any other shows coming up in the area? Obviously not in the next two weeks. Tomorrow night in Portland. Tomorrow night in yep, Portland. At Where? Revolution Hall on the rooftop. Excellent. Yep. Um, yeah. So Portland, I know you're listening. Go check it out. Yeah. And I just want to give a shout out to our amazing rhythm section, Zach Tillman on bass, bass and bass synth and Brian Wright on drums. Mm -hmm. Shout out received. Guys. Fantastic work. I agree. Receive the shout out. Yeah. The shout out received. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, this is a, uh, we're going to get back to the pre recorded music now on, uh, on, with a little treat for Jackson on uh, KEXP 90.3 Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.